Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Innovative Yak 110 coming to Oshkosh. Roy Halliday impaired at time of Icon crash. And NTSB releases probable cause report from Bell 525 test flight accident. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's January 22nd, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Okay, we really can't wait to see this. The Yak-110, an innovative aerobatic airplane, created by attaching two Yak-55s together and adding a jet engine in addition to the two radial engines, is slated to appear and perform at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2018 for the first time ever. The primary builder of the Yak-110, Del Collar, EAA 6838-52 said he believes Oshkosh is the perfect place to bring his new experimental airplane. I can't think of a better place to bring this airplane in his first year, Dell said. I think everybody who attends the show is really into experimental airplanes, obviously with it being the Experimental Aircraft Association. I think they'll really enjoy seeing this airplane do its thing. Jeff Boerboon, EAA 363600 and pilot of the Yak-110, said he's excited to fly the airplane at AirVenture because he knows the audience will be uniquely prepared to appreciate the one-of-a-kind nature of the aircraft. Although he admitted it was a little more advanced than his first forays in home building, Dell said the basic skills taught by EAA made it the basis of the knowledge that allowed him to tackle building the Yak-110. After the break, Hong Kong Airlines to recruit new cadet pilots. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a store suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Hong Kong Airlines has kicked off recruitment for a new batch of cadet pilots. The previous cadet pilot program received over 4,000 applications last year, and Hong Kong Airlines is excited to welcome new applicants again. The recruitment phase will take place from now until February 15, 2018. Hong Kong Airlines' commitment to developing homegrown talent will once again see a target young people, with Hong Kong permanent resident status for its second cadet pilot recruitment. AUVSI has announced the finalists for its inaugural Innovation Challenge, which gives small startup and early stage companies operating in the commercial, defense, and non traditional unmanned systems or autonomous system sectors an opportunity to present their technology to government and industry representatives. The Innovation Challenge will take place at Unmanned Systems Defense Protection Security from February 6 to 8, 2018 at the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center in National Harbor, Maryland. The NTSB is scheduled to meet January 23, 2018 to determine the probable cause of the October 28, 2016 American Airlines Flight 383 uncontained engine failure. According to the NTSB's prelim on October 28, 2016, at about 2.32 Central Daylight Time, 
American Airlines Flight Number 383 of Boeing B-767-300, November 345 Alpha November, powered by two General Electric CF680C2B6 turbofan engines, experienced a right engine uncontained failure and a subsequent fire during the takeoff round roll on runway 28R at Chicago O'Hare. After more than a decade of planning and fundraising, Wings Over the Rockies, an aerospace-focused Colorado nonprofit, is proud to announce its unique to the nation entertainment and education campus, Exploration of Flight. Designed to incorporate future-focused aviation and space centers, Exploration of Flight is a 15-acre campus located on the south side of Centennial Airport in Inglewood, Colorado. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The highly visible Icon A5 accident, the second fatal crash of the year that took the life of former Major League player Roy Halladay, now has a few blanks filled in by the revelation of drugs in Halladay's system, according to the local medical examiner's autopsy report. Released late Friday, the report states that former Toronto Blue Jays and Philadelphia Phillies player died from blunt force trauma, with drowning as a contributing factor. This occurred when Halliday impacted the waters off the coast of Florida near Newport Ritchie on November 7th. However, toxology reports also indicate that Halliday's remains showed evidence of amphetamine, morphine, and an insomnia drug in his system, though it has yet to be determined what or how much of a factor that may have played in the accident itself. Halliday had completed what Icon Aircraft considered a proper regimen of training in the aircraft and earned a number of licenses when the accident occurred, and where witnesses reported a number of aggressive banks and pitch attitudes before the aircraft struck the water, maneuvers which also mimic a number of videos published to the web of Icon Aircraft demo flights conducted by the company with other pilots and aircraft. After these messages, NTSB releases probable cause report from Bell 525 test flight accident. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. The NTSB has released this probable cause report from an accident involving a Bell 525 on a test flight in July 2016. According to the report, the experimental research and development helicopter was undergoing developmental flight tests before type certification. On the day of the accident, the helicopter test crew was performing a series of one-engine inoperative tests at an increasing airspeed with heavy forward center of gravity configuration. The crew initiated the final planned OEI test at a speed of 185 knots. After the crew engaged OEI special training mode, rotor rotation speed decayed from 100% to about 91% and the crew began lowering the collective to stop rotor rotation speed decay and increase the rotor rotation speed to 103%. At about 5.5 seconds into the test, the crew stopped lowering the collective, and the rotor rotation speed only recovered to about 92%. At about 6 to 7 seconds into the test, the helicopter began vibrating at a frequency of 6 Hz. At about 21 seconds into the test, the main rotor blades flapped low enough to impact the tail boom, severing it and causing the fatal in-flight breakup of the helicopter. The main rotor, tail rotor, flight controls, power plants, and rotor drive systems exhibited no evidence of pre-existing malfunction before the vibrations began. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. 
If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.